So in today's video, what we're trying to do is create multiple types of motion. So let me give you a demo of what that's going to look like. So you can see we've got some vertical motion. This is actually spinning as well. And we've also got this motion spinning. So let's get started. So in the first part, let's just make sure we can still put a basic cam in there. So I'm going to take this eccentric cam and notice this cam and this cam, they're the same. So for the first one, I'm going to keep it simple. We'll go up here to joint. I'm going to take the cam here and put it on the, the axle. I'll go ahead and slide that over. And all I want to try to do with this one is just line it up and do your typical cam stuff. Okay, so I'll go ahead and measure that up and hit OK. And then we know from here, right now there's no relationship between these two pieces in particular. So I'll go ahead and slide this thing up. All I did was clicked and dragged it. So now I'll go up here to joints, but instead of joints, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to go down here to where it says tangent relationship. So I'll click that in and I'm going to click the bottom and the cam itself and click OK. And what that will do is it will go ahead and, and put that relationship together. So those things are going to spin together. Okay, that's perfect. So what I'll do now is I'm going to go back over here to Rev9. And for those of you that remember that, Rev9 is a pretty important deal here. So I'm going to just say on the Rev9, I want to say go to home position. And what that will do is reset everything for me. All right. So let's talk about over here. Because remember, our goal was to create something that's going to have multiple types of motion. Right? So we may have vertical, we're going to have rotary, we're going to have horizontal. <sighs> let's get started. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put some of this together. So I'll take, and I'm going to take a joint here, and I want the blue piece to go on the bottom of, of our axle here. So I'm going to click here, and I'll just say, and I'll rotate it, and I'm going to come over here and click that. Didn't go quite like I wanted, so I'll click flip, right, and there it goes. So that's all the way, that's perfect. And let's also, while we're here, right, we might as well put the other side on. So I'll go back up to joints and I'll say, give me this one and this one. Those lined up pretty good, so I'll go ahead and hit OK. So what we're used to seeing with this model are slider joints. Because we want this to turn in a circle, we're actually going to have to use cylindrical joints. Okay, so if we look over here right now, slider 40, there it is. Okay. But because we want it to turn horizontally as well, we're going to have to use a cylindrical. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go to joints. And I want the axle here to go in through here. Now, I need to go over to motion, right? So motion. Right now, it's set at rigid, but I'll change that to cylindrical. So that is not only just moving up and down but it is also spinning, right? So we'll hit OK. All right, so now as we move this, you can see as I move it up and down, I can also spin it. And that's exactly what we wanted. So that's moving the way it needs to move. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna kind of follow the same procedure here as far as putting this cam in. So I'm gonna say joint, and I'll get this cam and I'll come over here to the axle. Now remember, last motion we used was cylindrical, right? So I need to change this back over to rigid. And go back into position. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna rotate it in the opposite direction just so I can see. Okay, and then I'm gonna slide it over. Now remember, as we've talked about, to make that motion spin, this cam can't be directly under the axle here. It has to be offset, right? So that's what I'm doing. I'm just offsetting it. And I'm going to hit OK. Right, so now when I look here, they're lined up and it's kind of the same situation now. I'll go back up to a symbol and I'll say tangent relationship. And I'm going to click the bottom of the follower. And then I'll come in here and I'll click this and click OK. So now when I spin, you see we're moving like we're supposed to, right? The issue though is if we look up here, this thing 
Let's pay really close attention right in here. That's not spinning, is it? Hmm. So I need to make a link between that. And if you think back to previous lessons, we actually have done this. So I'm going to kind of home this whole device and get it in the view where we can see it. But what I've got to do in Fusion now is I go to a symbol. I'm going to say motion link. So motion link. So I'm going to go up here to motion link. I'll hit capture position. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that Rev9. Notice it says one selected. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click that cylindrical joint. I'll click it as well. And really, that's all I'm going to have to do. And now I'm going to go back up to that Rev9. Remember, that's that all important joint. And I'm going to say animate joint relationships. So now look at that. That's giving me the motion that I want it to have. Real quick troubleshooting stuff. Here's some things I've noticed. When we go in here to this motion link, let's, let's right click on the motion link. And let's say edit. Sometimes the rev is always going to be on rotate, right? But the cylindrical can be on slide and rotate. Sometimes that thing gets stuck in slide mode. And then I'll go back over here and I'll try to animate that. And it just seizes up on me. Okay, so if you do the video, I mean, you follow everything and you go through it and stuff's still not working, you might have to come back in here and go to your motion link and say edit and check. Look at that. It is set to slide, so I have to hit rotate. And now when I come in here, I can animate this joint relationships. Everything is working the way it's supposed to work. And that's exactly what we're looking for.